Uh, Gavin, we were talking about this. Mm. A better game than we expected. Much better. Yeah. Galway, <laughs> Galway really came to play. Like going into it, the winning felt like an obligation for Kerry and an opportunity for, for Galway. And I think Galway definitely started with a side that had less pressure on their shoulders. They really did turn up. Their defensive system really nullified Kerry in the first half. And then Shane uh, Walsh went stratospheric. Listen, I think we'll, have to, we'll be talking about Shane uh, Walsh and David Clifford in a second. But Paddy, for you, all year we've seen Galway come laid out of the traps. Yeah. Which I think maybe Kerry expected yesterday. Gap, they looked, Kerry looked nervous. We all, it was theirs for the losing, as you've mentioned. But Galway came out, and my God, did they set down their marker fairly lightly? Yeah, you got the sense that Galway understood it was maybe once in a lifetime is a bit much, but they came out of nowhere to be in the All Ireland yeah. final, and, and you could see that nobody at the start of the season would have expected them to be here. For Kerry, on the other hand, it was the exact opposite. Right from day one, with Jack O'Connor coming back in January. They were the all of favourites. They've been the most consistent team all season. Yeah. Right through winning, steamrolling everyone in the National League, the Munster Championship. They get their hoodoo over Dublin in the semi-final. You, you almost feared for Kerry if they didn't win yesterday. And, and you could hear the reaction of their players after Sean O'Shea, David Clifford and these guys. It was relief. It, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't pure elation at the time. It was, yeah. they understood. It was massive, massive pressure on Kerry to win the game. And that probably showed in the first half. Galway seemed to play with a bit more freedom. But to be fair to Kerry, they do turn it around in the second half. They get a big impact off the bench, the likes of Killian O'Sullivan. That depth that they have that Galway probably didn't, didn't have. have. Kerry are just a bit further down the tracks uh, than Galway. But I think overall, it probably is slightly deserved for Kerry. That, are you okay saying that, Paddy? Are you all right? <laughs> is it hurting today? A little bit in my chest. Is it because you were, you were in Crow Park? Are you, hurt, are you hurting today or were you like, well, listen? No, once Dublin were beaten in the semis. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was great to go in and actually just enjoy an all Ireland final like that because it was. It was a much, much better game. It was. I expected if Galway would have any sort of chance, they'd have to really make it a dour game. But it wasn't. It, it was really enjoyable. And to be fair, look, Kerry over the course of the last seven months. They have been the best team. Yeah. And it is deserved. Eight years since their last one, so. It, and it does feel like a very long time. It felt like a famine in Kerry for an awful yeah. lot of people. We saw David Clifford hopping around there. Fossil was hopping as well at the same time. <laughs> but we've got to talk about David Clifford and Shane Walsh from yeah. Galway. That first half. Yeah. It was, and we, I'm sorry, they all, they all played out of their boots, all the players, <laughs> but that rivalry between the two of them was amazing to watch. Gavin. It was just like two boxes going for punch for punch. It was just an absolute pleasure to watch. And like Paddy said, we weren't expecting the most free-flowing of games. And yeah. But I think these defence, I think Ocean McConville was making this point on telly last night, the defensive systems that have been around for a few years now, they're making forwards a lot better. And Walsh and Clifford are probably the two best examples of it. I don't know how they get so much power, distance and backlift on their shot <laughs> with no space around them. They seem no. to need this tiny little kicking arc to boom the ball 50 metres over the bar. It was just, uh, it was just brilliant. Some I know Clifford... Marks Clifford, uh, Clifford was making oh, as well, though. Just, the jump, the leaps into the air. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I, I, Clifford got man of the match. I think yeah. Walsh was probably man of the match, to be quite honest. <laughs> but it's uh, it's tough to give it to. A guy that is the argument team. when you're kind of like, well, listen, they've won. They're in the. Yeah. They've got to give it to someone. You, you did feel that was the way. And the thing with all Ireland finals, they're usually the star men are well marshaled. Yeah. That that the opposing teams, the defensive systems, there's so much preparation done. They shut down the key guys. But yesterday was was just incredible that the two star players from both forward lines. It was an exhibition. There was gasps at times with some of yeah. Shane Walter's scores. Clifford, to be fair, Kerry are really, really struggling in the first half and he is the man that keeps them in the game. Lifted they, everything. They go in a point down at half time and that's that's because of Clifford, really. And yeah. Despite his amazing technical ability, we know he's one of the best finishers in the game and he will go on to be one of the best ever players. His leadership yesterday. He's only 23 or 23. 23. Yeah. He was the man right from the get-go keeping Kerry in it. So... To see those two guys, that was part of why it was such a, a brilliant game to watch. It feels like he's been around for years. Yeah. He, he, but like you've known, we've known about this guy since he was 14. 14, people have been You know chatting. what I mean? He was steamrolling schools finals and underage stuff with Kerry. I think he scored 4-4 four, four in an yeah. All-Hurling minor final. Like. Some poor kid is trying to mark him. <laughs> so <laughs> everyone's known about him and, and that's why yesterday was like a crown that he's finding. Yeah, which is even more pressure. Like, I mean, Sean oh, O'Shea yeah, talked yeah, about it, way lifted from his shoulders. It's even more on, you know, here's the golden boy. Like, this is the prince who and will become king. And it's been there for quite and, a long uh, time.